Going to the media center by the Traxxas Shootout top field winner, Tony Schumacher. This is his first Traxxas Shootout win, and with the win, he earned $100,000. Uh, this is the second victory in an NHRA All-Star bonus event. He's a nine-time U.S. Nationals winner and a seven-time top field world champion. Tony, talk about that run to win that $100,000. It's a very strong run for Richie Crampton. Yeah, for sure. You know, and, uh, and Morgan had just gone out and run a... Uh, 75, so we knew that they were going to have a good car. And, you know, it's just a, they're a great team. And, and like we said at the press conference yesterday, these are the eight best cars at the moment. I mean, they're the cars that have gone out in one race and, and continuously find themselves in the final round. So uh, it's just very satisfying. I don't know what else to say. And, and then they go out and, and, uh, and do it in Indy. It was, it's my 10th win in Indy, but not my 10th Indy win. That's kind of cool. And 10 times I've had that win like come out and got the trophy here. You know, we have a huge monumental coming Monday. And, you know, I don't know, man, we, we got the right car to do it. I said coming in this thing, I think we, got, we, we tend to be the right time, right place car, and this is the right time and the right place. We're getting better and stronger each and every one. Uh, you've been in all three uh, incarnations of this event, but had it one round before winning the whole thing today. Uh, what was the difference this time? For three rounds. <laughs> I just... Better car, you know, better car. I've gotten beat on whole shot. I mean, I've been in the finals a couple of times. These guys are good, man. You know, it, it, I, I could kid myself and, and blame it on this or blame it on that, but sometimes they just have a better car and sometimes the drivers are better. You know, I can bring an A game every time, but so are they. And I think um, as the fan, as a spectator, you can't come to a race, but you have to afford to see a great race. To see great, phenomenal racing. And a trade over the last couple of years, we are an incredible sanctioning body to come to and watch. If you want to see good, honest, hard-working teams battle it out. Uh, before we ran the finals, I was chatting with the Clyde guys, Nick Morris, a great race, and I said, I'm looking back at the last couple of races. You beat me in Brainerd by 5,000. I beat you on a whole shot in a race. Uh, and I think you beat me after that. I said, our race has all been fantastic. And that's just one car. That was just one conversation. Those races have all been a few, a few feet. Two cars making 10,000 horsepower. Different drivers, different crew chiefs, different parts and pieces and inches and, and feet are deciding these races. I love more than any fan, anybody who's interested in a sport. Yeah, so this is, it's like watching the, the, the World Series and the games are all great. Nobody wants to see that one team just run away. And what we're seeing now, and believe me, I've been that one team right away. And, and you get booed as much as you get chairs. You know, people just don't want to see it. They're paying too much money and spending hard enough dollars to come see a great race. I think what we're giving them now is just phenomenal. I'm proud of the part of it. At what point today did your mind start, or, or your heart start telling you, I'm going to win, I'm going to win this? I wish I had a great answer for that. I mean, honestly, you know, first round with Spencer, you're, that's not a guarantee. That's a hard guy. This guy's beating me more than I beat him. Being Coletta, I don't know what the stats are. It's pretty even, I'm sure. But what? I sure didn't go to that thing. Oh, I got this. And then in the finals, with the conditions going the way they were going, I mean, that car could run a 72. They turned screws they've never turned before to beat the Army car, and they've done it before. So, all in all, I, until that win light came out, I wasn't sure. Even after, I checked it twice. You know, it's best of the best. You know, and I'm glad to be here, but I've been on both sides of it. I've gotten beat many times, you know, and it's, you know, when, when you can finally gather it up and the team does their job and the driver at the same day at the same time you win a race. Big day for Mike Green with his daughter singing the next one. He's doing a great job. I was nervous. I'm like, oh man, he's going to be focused on that. He, he's a great guy. He knows how to pay attention. But that's, you know, first time I came to this racetrack, and I know how to focus too. First time I came here, we lost Wayne Johnson. I got buckled into a race car while the Purdue Choir was singing Amazing Grace. As much as you think you can focus, there are serious emotions going through you. Very intense race, very intense times. You know, with a loss like that, it was just, it was huge. So I didn't even standing up there, and I saw him turning down. Well, he was probably saying, don't pay attention to her. She's, he knows she's an amazing singer, but focus. And, uh, you know, I think we ran the slowest of all the cars there. So we, we, we had that lucky break in the, we ran an 80, but other cars were in the 70s. All the cars that went on to win were in the 70s. You know, I mean, we were the slowest of the winning cars. So, uh, 
we, we got a little break there and went on and just did exactly what we had to do, brought on our race. I, I said last night, sitting in this room, that run last night was going to win the race today because we didn't have to go also qualify. We didn't have to back it down to make sure we were safe to get in the show. We could just go after it. With the uh, final round and everything that came with it on your mind, uh, how much were you thinking about the number one qualifying spot? Well, I was thinking about passing the scales, but then it would have lost me the race. We had, nobody's won a race from the number one spot, so Mike said, just pass the scales and back up and weigh it for the tracks to shoot out. But it doesn't matter. We're going to win. We, we, we can go out and win a race in any spot. My first race ever was from the 16th spot. And yes, it was a serious circumstance that it was uh, unfortunate. But you can go to the, I've been in the finals from 12, 16, 14, all over the place, you know. And uh, that number one spot, we can talk about it and tell me, you know, it's, it's some jinx. It's not a jinx. We'll win. Some will win from that number one spot throughout the year. Did it in other classes, and, and we can follow suit. So, uh, great run. Earned points, won the race. Uh, not that the points matter anymore, but you know, it's still nice to do it. it. It shows everyone else that you got the car at the right time. I think momentum leaving this race going into uh, Charlotte is going to be big. And to be able to double up and go oh, and catch, pull off a, a great race and a great win like that to finish up right here. My dad, uh, he's doing good. He has to because it's, it's his wife's it's Sarah's birthday. And um, I'm sure he wants to take her shopping. So, but hey, he lives out and spends all the money. Blows his body very quickly. Not my fault. I didn't like that. <laughs> We just, no. We saw those three sevens going down. And maybe that's a good thing. You said, "Hey, I can come back and throw a good one down too." You know. The discussion before the round was, do I go in shallow and go for the number one spot, or do I try to win the race and risk it being on a hole shot? Uh, I was, you know, you, you look at all the, you look at the reaction times. But what they forget to mention, and they never mention, is take that and, and let me look at the 60 foot. They, every now and then they'll catch, you know, one of the announcers saying it. But I go out and have a, a great 60 foot, good reaction time. Someone else has a great reaction time and terrible 60 foot. It's not a miracle. It's a trade off. You, you roll in deep, you get a better reaction time. It's not rocket science. It's simple. You know, the further you roll forward, the better your reaction time. Light starts when the car leaves the beam. And, and so many fans don't understand that, that it's just whole shot. You get tired of hearing that, whole shot, whole shot. Miraculously, we've had, you know, Olsen and Cerny with all these critiques with the best 60 foots ever. It's not miraculous. What it is, is going shallow. Well, I want to win, but I want to win it to team. And it's throwing the team under the bus, rolling that car and keep. It just is. So the discussion of this one was, all right, what do we do? Do we want that number one spot? And Mike said, we want 100,000. Don't go in deep. But don't flip the line. Don't be stupid and catch yourself off target. Don't get to the finish line quickly. Whatever you need to do, you can win the next spot. Who was the first team member to be able to communicate with you and tell you how much this meant to them? But everyone, they, when they got down to the finish line, I just got mauled. I love that. I just, and you wait for it, because you're down there all alone, you know, I mean, the tracks of girls are there, the guys from tracks at ESPN, everyone's there, but your team, and until they get there, if you're not that excited, you're waiting. You know, all I did was push the pedal down, those guys built their race car, it was fantastic, you know, and uh, when, when the pressure's on, yeah, they hand it to me and say, you're it, but, but man, I watched them work before, and they work so darn hard, and we talk this morning, when I do my Centers of Influence speech, the COI speech, it's those guys. It's a humbling sport. 10,000 horsepower. If they give me the trophy, I get the ring. They show the check. It's got my name on it. I can't even start the car. I'm sitting there like, hello? <laughs> start the car, guys. You know, that's just the way it is. It's great. It puts it into perspective for you. What's the matter with you? Why did you take that 56 pound trophy and run back up like Vanderbilt? Yeah, start doing lunges? Yeah, yeah. yeah because, uh, <laughs> <laughs> not gonna do that. Not we had a discussion last night. Yeah, I carried that joke around long enough and I'm starting to feel like they Perfect. Great. Thank you. Congratulations, Thank you. Tony. Thank you very much. Good.